So unlike side proposition, we as side opposition aren't using any Marvel superhero names. That's probably because we as side opposition are living in a more realistic, realistic world where we understand and believe that anything is possible. Anything can go wrong and anything can go right. Which is why we as side proposition believe that the motion should fall. So before moving on, I have one main issue of rebuttal in today's debate, which is fake faith healers. So the first issue was that was brought about of what the, the proposition's case was basically most entirely based on was how they want to aim to eradicate fake faith healers in our society and remove them and make them extinguishable. So firstly, we as side opposition say that this is not an effective mechanism to actually do this, not only because it kills the religion, but furthermore, because we look at other factors such as choice. So we believe that as side proposition, we as humans have a choice as to whether we want to go to a traditional, to a, faith, to a faith healer or not to go to a faith healer. And we believe that this choice exists under our model, under our model. And furthermore, we look at this whole issue where Jared came and spoke about how desperation leads us to do, um, to do things. Well what, well, what we see is that this could, is not a bad thing. What we want to know basically is how it's a bad thing if the same desperation for healing is the same desperation that took you to the doctor to receive the healing. Furthermore, we looked at, we saw Jared speaking about telling us about how pastors actually um, get people to drink petrol and stuff. And he was telling us about how it's uneasy to, it's, you, we can't identify fake healers. What we say is that the fact that Jared was able to identify these pastors as being fake healers means that this choice exists in our current status quo. And we basically say that the fact that Jared could identify that as wrong means that he's not going to go to that church, which means he's going to use his right and practice his right to freedom of choice. So what furthermore, what we want to know under this, mo this policy is who governs where to stop, basically. So if we're going to implement this motion, what we aside opposition asks to the House is why not open the same channel in hospitals, seeing that we, we still face the same consequences in hospitals of people dying because of negligence and other factors, which could have occurred or could have been the reason that I was to the same as the prosecutors. And furthermore, if you look at the lifestyle choices of people, those things also play a factor in whether someone is healed or not healed. So these factors heal more. So furthermore, we look at how this whole uh, mechanism of proving whether this person is guilty or not. So we like how Jared actually made it known to us that we, that we to, to actually understand what pro prosecution is, innocent till proven guilty. So what we ask you as the House is how it's going to be possible or how it's going to be easy to prove that a person who died, died because of what of because of what the, uh, the traditional that. healer actually did, assuming that the fact that the main reason why these people actually went there is because they seek um, to, they actually have a mutual understanding with the with the with the faith healer, and they actually believe in this religion, and they actually doing their faith, and we see that this is a big assumption that we're making here. Where, uh, if you look at example of how our justice system works, since we all understand it, it doesn't work by word of mouth. So what's going to be happening in this instance is how we actually going to be proving this is going to be something that's based on word of mouth, and it's not going to be something easy, since there is no proof or legitimate some anything that proves that these people really did say what they really said. It's going to be the pro the faith healers were against that of the patient of the deceased family and furthermore we asked the house who exactly is going to be the one to actually report or to actually lay this complaint since they have a sense of understanding with the faith healer so i now close my rebuttals and move on to my to my positive matter which is the role of religion in our society so we see that in our society as individuals we greatly uphold our religions and we see that all these religious leaders, we see them to be people who are below God. We give them the respect that we would to God. And we say that with this, we'll I'll look further, firstly, at our belief system. So we look at South Africa, firstly. So in South Africa, we have many different religions and races, blacks, um, all these, Hinduism, <laughs> and Christianity. So, yeah, we follow that. So we see that these religions, being, made, being this numerous, are quite delicate in how they operate and because they have their own beliefs. The beliefs of Christianity may somehow harm the beliefs of a Hindu person and they, the, they're not in sync with each other. So we see that each religion is deeply grounded 
to its belief systems in our society. So if we take a look at Western and traditional cultures, we see that most religions would, fall, would prefer, or the main reason why someone would actually go to a faith healer is because they believe in the traditional way of doing things as compared to going to a hospital. The main reason for that is because we see that as evolution came place, Western medicine is something that's new. It's something that came now. So we as people trust um, or those people who actually believe in traditional ways have to believe traditional ways more because it was there for longer than, than, than Western ways. So we see that by implementing the motion, it causes a major shake in our belief system and it causes total be belief doubt, total belief to be doubted in, in our society. And furthermore, we look at how when a law is passed in South Africa, this is what the people believe. These people believe the government with whatever they say. And we see that furthermore, what would happen if this motion was to be implemented, it would kill the belief of these people because not only are the people going to be, the fake healers going to be scared to actually practice their thing, their, 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 their job, but they also, people who are actually want to go to them to seek attention are also going to be scared to actually go to them because they don't believe them because of this motion. Yes, yes, sir. So then why did you attend traditional circumcision rather than go to a clinic and circumcise? Uh, thank you. That's, that's quite helpful in my case, actually. It goes back to the same thing where I said that we as humans so would rather speak more to the traditional way of doing things rather than following Western ways because we believe that has been there more than, what, than the Western world. So, yeah, thank you for that. You helped me. To move on to my point, we're going to look at how, 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 it could, how actually implementing this motion will cause a religious uproar. So because of this, of how people are deeply grounded or rooted to their religion, we see that actually implementing this motion is going to cause religious uproar. uproar. So people are not going to accept this type of law being implemented because it hinders their religion or for them to actually practice their religion. And furthermore, we see that for those people who actually believe in this, who actually quite believe in this motion being implemented and being followed, we see that it's going to cause them to drift away from their religion because now they're going to start to doubt their religion. And we see that religion is something that's supposed to give us hope. It's something that is supposed to give us hope and faith in order for us to progress further. And now if we actually say that the faith that we actually believed in is something that doesn't exist, then people are not going to actually want to follow the real, their religion. And this will cause them to drift away. So what exactly have I proven in today's debate? I've proven to you that the belief system in our country is something that is, is really followed by people. And because of this belief system that exists within society, people will not want to actually buy into this motion being implemented. For those reasons, we as side opposition win today's debate.